Welcome back. The struggle to contain Zika reaching a breaking point as the first death related to this disease has been reported on U.S. soil. Our next guest company aims to calm escalating fears by fighting Zika using billboards that attract, capture, and kill mosquitoes carrying the pathogen. Joining us right now is PosterScope USA CEO Helma Larkin, creator of the device. Good to see you, Helma. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Explain how these billboards work. Well, essentially, we designed a billboard that attracts and kills mosquitoes. Um, it attracts them based on the simulating the sweat of a human being. Um, we did this really um, because we wanted to uh, inspire people to take action around the world. Um, we wanted to you know, stop just talking about Zika, but really inspire people to think about how they can take action to bring attention to this epidemic. And so, so the billboards smell like sweat, human sweat, and it attracts the mosquitoes. Yeah, exactly. We um, essentially built technology into the billboard that has CO2 as well as lactic acid, which um, comes across as, as a human being and, and the smells of, of a human person attracting the billboards to it, I'm sorry, the mosquitoes to it, and then it kills them inside. Wow. But, how many, but how many mosquitoes could you, how many of the billboards have been deployed already and how many of the mosquitoes could you eradicate potentially with that number that are deployed? So it's killing about 100 mosquitoes a day. There's two locations in Rio at the moment, but the objective was not really to eradicate mosquitoes. You know, we, we wish that we could do that. It was really to bring attention to the fact that we need to find ways to develop how we can eradicate this and to drive, you know, action around the world. We developed this as an open source platform. The blueprint is available to, to anybody who wants to take this um, concept to their part of the world. And, and that's, that's really the objective of the campaign to drive that um, conversation and to inspire action. So has anyone taken up another application? Like, it's one thing <laughs> attracting the billboards. Um, you know, what, what other applications have people mentioned? Well, at the moment, uh, we have had a flood from all over the world of um, inquiries from the UK, the US, the Philippines, um, Panama. Uh, actually, the, the, the response has been phenomenal, and I think um, that's really the power of advertising and, and we, you know, that it's doing good. Um, right now, we're dealing, we're dealing with the inquiries, and we're trying to help people think of how they can bring it to their location and take action in their country. Billboards that smell like stuff, it's like a really untapped market, right? I didn't know you could do that. Well, that's the you great thing about <laughs> Of, about what we call outdoor advertising it's a blank canvas you know if you think about it outside as a structure you can really have it do anything, anything. you know and that's why brands we do this for for brands every day top brands um, you know a lot of money is coming back into out of home because it is a blank canvas that you can do a lot with hmm. and it can drive conversation into television into social into uh, you know into other forms of, of media and that's that's really the power of it so can, going into the the Rio Olympics I mean are is that where the these are being sold right now I mean where's the business happening how concerned should people be if they want to go to the Olympics in Rio well, I think um, in Rio at the moment, we have two locations and uh, we're focusing those in areas that will drive the most attention to this. And there will be a third one that will be going up quite soon. Um, I think around the Olympics, um, you know, I think there's, there's some other folks out there who could comment on, you know, I'd say if my parents, if I was a doctor, they would have, uh, they would have been proud. Um, you can comment on the, the risks of people yeah. when they're in Rio. But, but you um, think we're that's doing an opportunity our part. for you? Yeah, absolutely. In, in yeah, we're doing our part in, I think, bringing attention to how it can be solved um, in the immediate term and address before the Olympics. Uh, one, so you working, do you use the, can I, I call it smell-o-vision, mm -hmm. um, the sense in these billboards do you use that with your other customers or clients? Yeah, there's lots of different like applications. What, but at, like what? <laughs> at PosterScope, oh. um, we have, we've Thank experimented you. with lots of different things. Smell technology, sound technology, tap technology. Um, as I said before, it's a blank canvas. There's well, lots of different nascent things. Can only things. mosquitoes smell the billboards? Because yes. I would hate it if I could smell the billboards, you know? No, this one is definitely only attracted oh. to, this, to this, the AD's uh, mosquito in particular. Where you know, else would you use smell? technology yeah. um, I think just different brands who want to incite different types of actions you know, they want you to be curious about something or they want you to go online to check something else out it has lots of different applications for kind of a call to action similar with um, sound technology you can go up and scan your phone now um, and pick up different sounds from outdoor advertising again it's wow. just things that you can do outside that you couldn't necessarily do on your you know on your computer or on your mobile phone and that's why um, you know the industry is actually um, seeing seeing growth again you know coming back in 
and one of the traditional media formats that really is uh, staying strong. That's interesting, you know, like if you smell a steak and you just decide, I want a steak. I mean, you know what I mean? Like you could smell anything and I'm get customers to go. I'm convinced Cheesecake Factory does this. Okay. Cheesecake Factory <laughs> might do it. I'm convinced. That's why there's always lines out the door. The, and then the, you go by it and all of a sudden, I want cheesecake. Or in terms or of something. sound, it's yeah. sound and smell. Steak, it's the sizzle that smells yeah. a steak, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's good stuff, Howie. You've, you've come introduced to us week. to a whole new opportunity in business. Yeah, we like it. Yeah, no, it's great. It's uh, it's a great phone industry to work in, and uh, as I said, you know, it, it's an industry that's growing. It's what what interested me in coming to it, and uh, you know, our clients uh, come to us with lots of tricky challenges and lots of things. And technology and data is really what we put at the core of it because there's so much available uh, technology to help us. Yeah, Alma, thank you. Helma Larkin joining us there. President Clinton running to Hillary's defense as pressure mounts on the FBI to speed up the classified email investigation. See where he is placing the blame next. And then later, from model to mogul, she appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue 13 years in a row. Now turning her attention to business, Kathy Ireland is joining us. Coming up.